What's up guys? This is Magnolia Mo and you are watching my channel. If you have recently installed or you're looking to install in-ceiling Dolby Atmos speakers and if you're wondering you know about the angles and about the placement of those in-ceiling speakers then this is the video to watch. So if you haven't checked out my video about how I designed this theater uh, please do so. I'm going to leave a link for that video in the description and I'm going to put an info card right up top for that, right? So I used Audio Advice's online tool, right, to figure out what the distance is or where the, the in-ceiling sp speakers are going to get mounted, right, in this room. But having done that, what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually validate what those these angles are, right, that... that um, uh, I ended up with right from Adobe Atmos in ceiling uh, speaker perspective right so what I did was I went online I went to to Amazon and um, I found this this very useful device right so this is basically your digital angle finder right and um, you tilt it, you get the angles. It's got two laser pointers on each side, uh, which help me locate the pinpoint precisely where the, you can see on the back wall, where, you know, what spot that, you know, where I need to put, for instance, my speakers at. Um, so, so this takes the guessing, you know, <laughs> out, right? It'll tell you exactly uh, where they need to be. First thing that you need, right? You need a digital angle finder. Then you need a digital distance finder right uh, this is a, a Bosch professional GLM 20 I'm gonna leave a link for this one too this one also has a laser laser pointer but it actually gets the distances um, you know for uh, for you as to where you are so it takes the 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 measuring tape out of the equation I mean you, you still need to have it so so these are the three things that you're gonna need you're gonna need a either a digital distance finder definitely a digital angle finder and a measuring tape if that's what you want to use the other thing you need is you need a trusted stand so i put some velcro underneath i put some velcro right here and all i did was kind of attached it via velcro and then and then now i can kind of you know uh, angle it to the position that i want the or you know where my speakers are essentially and I'm going to demonstrate that in this video first things first this the angle finder needs to be at zero which is at zero right now and this is going to be our starting point to figure out what the angles are for the front heights you see right there my top front left Top front right, top front, or top rear right, right there, and top rear left, based off of uh, seating distance of 10 feet, that's what I got from that's how I had originally planned the <laughs> the main listening uh, position to be from from the projector, right? Like when I did the audio advice specifications. Front height right, twenty five point three five twenty point twenty five point yeah twenty five point three five degrees. Lasers right there at the center of the tweeter. Twenty five. Point four, actually. Now that it's settled down, twenty-five point four. Front height left, twenty-five point four, or three-five, I guess, twenty-five point four. That is the correct. Yep, twenty-five point three-five for the front height left. Okay, those are the angles. All right, so here's the angle for my top front left, 36.15. You can see right there, the laser is pointed to the center of my speaker. And 
that is in line with my front with my bed layer speakers right so so my front and then my back surround um, and then it's also straight line in line with the the top rear left this is essentially following audio advices distances right from their from their uh, online tool now the issue here that I'm running uh, up against is that 36 degrees is not ideal for Dolby Atmos in ceiling speaker placement right it needs to be about 45 degrees the minimum the starting point should be 45 it should be between 45 and 55 degrees if I wanted to follow Home Theater Guru's recommendation, right, which is which they're essentially saying 55 degrees, uh, anything anything over 45 degrees would give you the best uh, uh, engagement, right, from Adobe Atmos perspective. So if I were to follow that, 50 degrees would would have meant the my top front left speaker placement to be right there where the laser is right as opposed to over here which is uh, the 36 degree uh, angle now what that does is here's my front left it's actually moving the 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 top front left speaker inwards more inwards right so closer to the listening position but at a much steeper angle of 50 degrees Here's the top rear left, 35, 35 degrees, 35.2. And that's to the middle of the, the speaker right there. And here's the top rear right, 35.25 as well, 35.2 to the center of that speaker. Right, so here's the 50 degree angle for my top rear left right <laughs> and as you can see the the speaker should have been placed right there as opposed to over there if you go off of home theater guru's recommendation to get more engagement you know from uh, uh, my atmos speakers but this is a thought right so this is where the 50 degree angle is and obviously this is inside you know uh, of my bed layer if you draw a straight line from from the front left to to the rear backs around this is where the the top rear left speaker should have been actually here right versus back there right same same deal here uh, this is my top front right 36.15 degrees to the center of my speaker right there now guarantee the 50 degree is going to be much closer to the listening position and much narrower not as wide here we go so this is uh 50 degrees essentially right um right at 50 degrees and that is over there let's put it in perspective right so it is it's moved in quite a bit so if i'm standing in the front of the the room that's my main listening position right there. Instead of there, I should have moved it, you know, maybe about, about two and a half feet, three feet almost, two and a half feet closer to the, to the listening position um, for my top front right. And then similarly, top front left would have been right about here, so which would have given us a, obviously, you know, this is this makes sense, right? What home theater guru is saying is 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 having these closer to to the listening position, having them closer to the listening position. Obviously, you you will hear more in the height effects from those speakers, right, coming down down at you versus the ones over there, and then the sound from the top uh, front right because it's farther out and it's more in line with the front it may get you know you may you may not get enough separation so i mean that's really what this is all about is if you follow uh the audioadvice.com even though i like the sound the way it is 
I'm now wondering if I should have mounted this, the ceiling speakers much closer. So let's start with the audio advice tool. Okay, so when you go onto the audio advice site, the first thing that pops up is the free interactive 3D home theater design tool. You can click on design now and uh, you know, you can go into the configurations tab and set up your, you can start with your room dimensions. So 15 feet, that's what my, my room depth is. Uh, ceiling height is eight feet. Then, and, and then you go into your seating, right? Which is, I have, I put in three seats per row. Uh, just, I just have one row of seats and then distance from the screen to the primary seat is 10 feet. Okay because that gave me good amounts of uh, immersion, right? Uh, the, 10, the 10 foot distance on a 100 foot screen. Um, aisle position you can set up, and then for the video setup, I put in the projector. Uh, it gives you, it calculates what the immersion level is, which is higher. Uh, the closer I'm gonna get, or the bigger the screen size, the immersion level is gonna be higher. You know, it's gonna keep getting better and, and higher. Screen gain is 1.0, gives you, um, the the ideal throw distance for the for the nits that you want to achieve and then for audio setup I picked box speakers uh, I didn't you know I, when I was designing this I didn't have any wide speakers in mind uh, and then two subwoofers rear surrounds and total Atmo speakers I picked four you can select six and when you do six it'll do the six in ceiling so so that's why we do four here um, top front top, and, and your top front and your top rear uh, in ceiling speakers all right and then we save these specs and then it gives you your room um, then it yeah, essentially gives you just a summary of what you selected right and then here here is the big thing right here you get your it actually gives you seating and riser measurements too which is awesome um, but uh, the key part to me here was was how far your front left right speakers should be 10 feet 10.4 uh, 10, 10 feet 4 inches apart main surrounds 9 feet 6 inches from the screen right so it's giving you the distance from the main screen and and um, uh, at 4 feet point four feet and 2 inches from the floor right so it actually tells you how high your box speakers need to be um, rear surrounds on the back wall you know how far apart they need to be and here is the big thing so I picked uh, based on the dimensions that I picked we have speakers should be located six feet 9.4 inches into the room from the screens wall with five feet 4.78 inches of distance between them so that's the big thing right there right that's the key is how far should the speakers be located into the room right so the front uh, atmo speakers front in ceiling atmo speakers uh, they need to be in my setup needed to be six feet 9.4 inches and they needed to be five feet 4.78 uh, inches apart the rear speakers uh, were are 13.2 uh, 13 feet 2.6 inches and same five feet and 4.78 inches apart when you actually look at this um, let me look at it in a I'm gonna actually make it bigger a little bit bigger for us to see all right so when you take a look at this your Atmo speakers your ceiling speakers are are inside they're not in line with their, your front inside if you go to Dolby's home theater speaker guide their white paper they're illustrating your top fronts and top rears as in you know as, as in line with your front speakers so they're farther apart right so that's basically how I installed my in ceiling speakers I installed them in line with my front left and right speakers which is contradictory to what audio advice is saying, what um, uh, home, home theater gurus are saying. The bottom line here is this, right? So if you want uh, the most immersion, immersion, the most immersive Atmos, you have to be able to get your ceiling speakers 
to between 45 and 55 degrees. Yes, you may localize them a little bit, but you will actually hear the sound more above you as opposed to more diffused. I don't know if that makes sense, but but at the end of the day, I went with, with Dolby's specified layout uh, versus Audio Advice's specified layout, right? When it came to the ceiling speakers, I got the distances right from the front of the, the room, but I sort of didn't line them up correctly, right? With the, the right distances between them. So bottom line is, is for your in-ceiling speakers for Dolby Atmos to get the, the, the best immersive sound, you have to minimum start at 45 degrees, right? For your top fronts and, and obviously your top rears. Uh, and and you can increase it you can go up to 50 right uh, or you can go to 55 and you need the the angle finder the digital angle finder in my opinion takes all the the guesswork out of the game right it will tell you exactly uh, where you need to situate and and install your your in ceiling speakers okay and that is basically it I hope you like this video um, and as usual please do like subscribe and share this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.